As delegations sat down in Jordan Sunday to talk de-escalation, two Israeli brothers were shot dead by a Palestinian gunman in the occupied West Bank. Within hours, Jewish settlers went on revenge rampages, assaulting Palestinians and setting fire to their homes. The incidents embody the intensifying violent atmosphere that brought Palestinian and Israeli teams and U.S., Egyptian and Jordanian delegations together. Agreements reached at the summit include the Palestinian leadership's decision to restart security cooperation with Israel after pausing collaboration in January. Israel reportedly committed to halt settlement building for up to six months, despite the government's recent announcement it plans to build thousands of new housing units. That announcement came as the UN Security Council criticized settlement expansion. Shortly after the summit disbanded, numerous ministers belonging to Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's government condemned the Jordan meetings, saying they will not honor delegation decisions. Israel is currently caught up in political crisis threatening to destabilize the country. That instability, combined with spiraling violence, could lead to explosive outcomes.